Hey there guys, and welcome back to Jurassic the Hunted. In the last episode, we, uh, shot some dinosaurs or something, I don't know. Oh yeah, we met Dr. Cyrus and Rock, who's now an old man all of a sudden for some reason. The story makes no sense, and I've kind of stopped trying to make sense of everything, so let's just get on with it, shoot some dinosaurs. Oh boy, I think we have another one of those Defend the Fort sections coming up. Do they want me to go in here? Well, there's one of those ammo crates and unlimited slow-mo thingy. So... Ooh, weapons. Do we have anything new? Shotgun and... Oh, that's the earlier assault rifle again. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, now we're locked in. Okay, better defend the fort then. Where's where them raptor? Oh, there's another one. Come on. Oh! What the hell was that? Do I have explosive rounds now? That'd be pretty cool. Oh, damn. Maybe I do. What the hell did I do? Oh, couple over there. Bring out the big gun. I like this thing. Those guns with, uh... You know, where the soldiers always carry like, those big belts of ammo wrapped around themselves? Those are pretty cool. And judging by the belt of ammo hanging from the left of this thing, this is one of those guns. And it's pretty damn powerful. Quite fancy. You know the type of gun, you just rapid fire it, you see the bullets like flying out of it everywhere. Like the discarded shells or something, I don't know, I'm not really sure how those things work. I'm not American, I'm not a gun fanatic. So, there we go, reload, put in a new chain of bullets, and fix the window. This thing takes its sweet time to reload, though, that's a bit of a... Oh, jeez, where the hell did he come from? Other window, probably. Yeah, that one's all the way chewed open. Bloody hell. But, uh, why do all these raptors have it out for me so bad? I mean... You'd assume they're predators, they go after me because they're hungry or something. But then is there absolutely no other prey for them in this place to go after? Well, I'll admit we haven't really seen, like, any herbivores at all. Other than uh, those two dead, what you call it? Those, uh, those medium-sized herbivore corpses we came across a couple times, and those brachiosaurs in that one cutscene. So, there are herbivores here. Apparently, the raptors don't care for those. They would much rather feast on a big, chunky American man. Alright, reload, and let him... Ah, damn it. Too fast. Gotta slow him. Slow him out. Shoot him in the spine a couple times, turn him, turn him paraplegic. And fix the window again. Just in time as well. Oh sweet, you can actually fix the window while shooting. Did not know that. That could come in handy. Okay, different window. I'm kind of running low on bullets. This thing chews through them way too fast. But it's effective. Dreadfully effective. Down to 32 bullets though. Oh, he's dead. Gotta fix this real quick. And gotta get some new ammo. There we go. Good as new. Should have maybe reloaded before doing that though. Oh crap, here he comes. Too late again. Freaking reload animation, man. Ridiculous. Then again, the shotgun doesn't really reload that fast either. Although that depends on how many shots you've actually fired. With this one, you basically doesn't matter if you have one bullet left or a hundred. Reloading will still take the exact same amount of time with the shotgun, not so much. So if you just keep the shotgun reloaded... Oh, I think we're done. Okay, load up all the guns, even though I think this is the only one I used in here. There we go, new ammo. And get out of here. Okay, glad that's behind us. Now, where shall we go next? Oh, trophy. Preparing for the future. Not entirely sure what causes you to get that one. Maybe it's just like a story-based trophy and blow up the rocks. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, wait, of course, I forgot. We picked up that bomb. We have to use that. Okay, boom. 
Nice. Oh crap, rolling boulders. Or oh, an alt. Hmm. Oh, we're not actually controlling this, this is just a cutscene. Alright then. Uh. Oh shit. Oh, it's gonna be like 127 hours or something. Run, Dylan, run, don't get your hand stuck. Or you're gonna have to chew it off. Oh. Okay, loading. I cut out the loading screen, by the way. And then you just repeat this. I'm not really sure why. I mean, why end the previous mission on that cliffhanger then if you're just gonna show it again? Keep Just keep running, Dylan. Why the hell does he stand there for so long? What the hell? Oh, look, we found a boat. Rusty-ass old army boat. Come on, boulder, stop already. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, turret. Okay, T-Rex, you're gonna get it. Well, at least finally we're getting something big. But, uh... They're making surprisingly a little amount of fanfare about this. You'd think finally showing the T-Rex in a game like this would be a big freaking deal, but nope, you just kind of wander into it and then immediately fight it. You'd think it'd show up in, like, a cutscene or something. Oop. There we go, firepower. I'm not really sure what that's for. I see a 50 on the trophy picture, so maybe it's to get 50 kills with one of the turrets, maybe? There have been a fair amount of turret sections, and I suppose... Oh, there's the T-Rex again. Open fire. At least he has a health bar, which the uh, earlier bosses, like the Utah Raptors, were lacking. So at least that's nice of them. I'm not really sure what the deal is with all these pterodactyls, though. Hey, there's this big-ass noise-making machine. Let's all dive-bomb it. Instead of, you know, flying away from the big, loud noise-making machine. Genius. I mean, what is their motivation? Why are they all dive-bombing me all of a sudden? And where the hell is the T-Rex? Kind of a lame T-Rex boss fight so far. Just shoot him a couple times, then he runs away like a little... Oh, crap, here he comes. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him in the face. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's not a one-hit kill. That is good. I was kind of scared it was for a moment there. Like, you're supposed to keep him away by shooting him. Oh, jeez. Uh, how does the T-Rex fail in... Fail at killing a human being with a single bite, though? I get that it's for gameplay reasons, but still. Presumably, it is a one-hit kill if you're playing on higher difficulties. Jesus Christ, pterodactyls, what is your problem? Just stay away. Gotta keep an eye open for the T-Rex. Luckily, he's kind of big, so you can... You can't really miss him. Or you just... Oh, crap, there he comes in the background. Come at me, bro. There we go, just rush right towards the bullets. Here we go, you can see him a little easier. Come on, come on. I think... Oh, there we go, we got him. Well, that was fairly underwhelming. These must be the caves Dr. Cyrus told me about, but... Oh, no! You gotta be kidding me! Wait, wait, wait. We just killed a T-Rex, and now they're recycling the boss fight immediately? I don't really understand that decision. Seems kind of a weird thing to do. Hey, you know, let's, we, the players just fought a T-Rex. Let's make him do it again immediately. Just in case you weren't tired of the boss fight already. You think you're done? Nope. Do it again. Suckers. Not, not really sure what the hell they were thinking there. I mean, I would be fine with this boss fight being done again, maybe somewhere later in the game. But if we do it again, maybe these are the only two T-Rexes we get to see all throughout the story. And we're not really quite done yet. After this episode, there's still a good four episodes to go. So... At least we're piling on the damage. This one seems to be a lot easier than the first one. Also, the other one was green. This one's red. I'm not really sure why. Then again, raptors come in both red and yellow, so... Maybe it's another case of sexual dimorphism? I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation for that word. I've only seen that word written. But if I had to make an assumption, I'd say it's a fairly logical way of pronouncing it. 
And for those of you who don't know what that means, basically it's uh, the term you use to describe animals or whatever, where there are differences in appearance between the different sexes. It's uh, It also happens in Pokemon a bunch of times, like uh, Hippowdon, males are brown, females are grey, that's a good example of sexual dimorphism. And away goes the T-Rex again. I, well, it, I guess what the T-Rex is doing here is a more logical response to being fired at from a machine gun turret. I mean, all the raptors and stuff, you just shoot them, they just keep coming at you. The T-Rex, however, eventually gets fed up with it and just runs away. Of course, it returning doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, because bullets hurt. You'd think they'd try and get away from things that hurt. But no- oh, crap, here he comes again. Slow-mo, open fire at his guts. Kinda make him trip. So that's basically how you're supposed to do this. Every time he shows up, just keep shooting at him until he slows down, or just trips or something. And then kill him while he's running away. And don't even get to finish killing the pterodactyls, and now we're in a cave all of a sudden. With... I'm not really sure if that's water or not. Oh, and those were the exploding mushrooms the game trophies were talking about. Gotta be careful. The doc made some modifications to your radio handset. The temporal vortexes shouldn't mess with the signal anymore. If you need anything, just give me a shout. Okay, so they did something to my headset, and I'm not really sure why he's saying... You know, if you need help, give me a shout, because they're at the base camp. Lord knows how far away from here. And he's an old ass man now, so he can't even help if he wanted to. So then why offer in the first place? Also, out with the dinosaurs, in with the bloody scorpions. Because, you know, there aren't enough kinds of dinosaurs I to choose really from. Hate bugs. Yeah, I'm not overly keen on them either. But uh, just to be technical, scorpions aren't bugs, they're arachnids. Or, well, yeah, they, they're they definitely not bugs. I'm not sure if they are arachnids or not, but they're definitely not bugs. Anyway, this place is loaded with exploding mushrooms. Mario would not like these. Some sort of green, eerie fog. It's like someone's pumping nerve gas into this place. Freaking scorpions. Weird atmosphere. Green, toxic-looking water. I don't like this place. And you'd think the raptors would be in the caves as well. Although I guess maybe they do prefer the outside more. It makes more sense for scorpions to be in caves than dinosaurs, I assume, but these scorpions are huge. I mean, what would their uh, their length be? Like head, like from the tip of their head to the tip of their tail. Like six feet or something? They don't seem that long, but remember, the tail arches all the way up, so it makes them look shorter than they actually are. But yeah, those are some big-ass scorpions. And I know there were some really big scorpions in the past. I've seen it on, uh, what was that, Walking With... Not Walking With Dinosaurs, but there was another, a similar program where they discussed, like, sea creatures. Now, they were, like, really big sea scorpions, so they were pretty cool-looking. Damn. Oh, okay, that area is safe, or at least as safe as this place can be with exploding mushrooms and scorpions all over the place. Oh, jeez. Now it's becoming even more foggy. Becoming a bloody scorpion version of Silent Hill. Crap, gun's empty. Oh, come on, I am not dying to scorpions. That is pathetic. Because they're not nearly as fast as the raptors, they don't really take many bullets to kill. So if you die to these chumps, that's pretty sad. Come on, General, step it up. There we go, blow them away. Phew. Okay, wait for the health to restore, and then just keep walking through the fog, I suppose. I have no clue where I'm supposed to go. There's no objective marker anymore or anything. Oh, jeez. Gotta be careful. I don't know how close you have to get to those things to trigger them, but I don't really want to take the risk. Jeez. Okay, the handgun is maybe not the best gun for taking these things on. It's not strong enough. Oh, here comes another one. Shotgun, that ought to do the trick. Even with their extra hard exoskeleton. Because, another educational lesson, kids. Bugs don't have bones. 
the only, the only reason they kind of stay the shape that they are is because they're basically just hard shells with squishy parts inside of them. Or something. Anyway, apparently we can also drop the tiny gun. So you can basically just carry around four big ass assault rifles. Which I'm now pretty much doing. Except for the one wimpy handgun. Oh crap. Shoot the mushroom, wake up the scorpions, love it. Ah, it's good to have this thing again. I mean, the other machine gun was probably stronger, but I feel, I feel this one's much more suitable for aiming properly. The sights are a lot better. No oh, crap, here comes another one. And boom! Triple kill. Yeah, triple kill it. We're not really sure how many scorpions were hiding around that corner. Ah, damn it. Freaking... Whoa! Uh, what was that? Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, no, 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 get off. Dude, you need a mint. Bloody raptors. Oh, just the tiny ones. Okay, so we went through a portal. Now we're in this pit, which is filled to the brim with tiny raptors. Oh, they just keep spawning, it seems. They, they're coming out of the walls. Oh, bloody hell. I don't like these things. They're not that strong, but there is a lot of them. And they're fast. They can jump at you from behind and everything. You do not want to fight these things in large numbers. Luckily, the slow-mo... Oh, not so for That's probably for getting a certain amount of slow-mo kills. Oh, chicken chase. Jeez, we're getting trophies up the butt this episode. That's like the fifth one. And this game doesn't even have many... Tr like, most games have... I think 50 trophies. This one, I think, only has like 30. So I'm getting a large part of the trophies in this episode. Damn it. There we go, just punch him. Oh, here's another one. And two more. They just keep popping out of the walls. But am, I, am I supposed to find a way out, or am I just supposed to kill them all? Jeez, there's like 10 of them. This is insane. They keep jumping and everything. So there's four here, another one over there. Probably a couple more. Jeez. Jumping at me from my blind spot. That's kind of why I prefer third-person shooters to first-person shooters. You don't have as much of a blind spot. Well, can you just kindly die? Freaking raptors. Oh. Okay, I guess we're done there. Well, in the next episode of Jurassic, the Hunted will continue exploring the cave. Bye-bye.